could be one hour away from a Supreme Court decision on the future of Roe v. Wade. Here's a live look at the U.S. Supreme Court right now. We're expecting a decision on an abortion case out of Mississippi that could have implications nationwide. CBS 8's Chris Grow live in the newsroom now with the latest on this. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Eric. And look, services and advocates across the country, both sides of this issue are gearing up for a potential overturn of Roe v. Wade. The high court is expected to make a decision soon again, potentially today. Of course, the case gives legal precedent guaranteeing the right to abortion in the U.S. A leaked draft opinion reported by Politico earlier this year showed the high court does plan to overturn the precedent. There are about a dozen states with what are called trigger laws in place getting ready for this moment so that if and when Roe v. Wade is struck down, they would immediately ban abortion. According to a study by UC San Francisco, out of about uh, more than 800 clinics across the U.S., 202 clinics in those states would be forced to close. 32-year-old Sabina Oster has lived both sides of this issue. She had an abortion in her 20s. Nearly a decade later, she made a different decision and is now a new mom. No person can understand what an individual person goes through when they make their own decisions, especially one as hard as that. I couldn't do it again. I'm still pro-choice to this day just due to the fact that I'm able to make a conscious decision on my own. I have support. Not everybody is as fortunate as me to have that support system. And we will continue to monitor the court for any announcements. They could potentially be released as soon as 10 a.m. Eastern time, so 7 o'clock our time, so in less than an hour. Continue to stay with CBS 8 as this story develops. Eric?